Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today I have an exciting tutorial to share with you. Adobe has rolled out their April 2017 update of Premiere Pro, which includes some amazing new features. The one we're talking about in this video is the addition of motion graphics capabilities right inside of Premiere. It's incredibly simple and incredibly powerful, so let's dive in and start exploring this new feature. Once you've updated Premiere Pro to its most current version, open it up and you should see that there's a new tab at the top of your screen. Here is the newly added Graphics tab. From here we can install motion graphics templates that have been made specifically for this update. Under the Graphics tab, click Install Motion Graphics Template. From here you simply have to select which motion graphics template you want to use, and the installation will be complete. Our example template is right here. Click Open, and you'll be greeted with the Essential Graphics tab. From here you can just drag and drop the motion graphic you want to work with. Let's choose this one. And there we go, we already have a working motion graphic right inside of Premiere. But we want to edit it, so let's go to the new Essential Motion Graphics tab. If you happen to lose where this tab is in your workspace, you can easily find it by going to Window, and then down to Essential Graphics. Select your motion graphics clip, and in our Essential Graphics tab, we have two options, Browse and Edit. Choose Edit. This is where things get really fun. All of your controls for changing parameters on this template are right inside of this window. Something to keep in mind when editing in this window is that each different template you work with could look very different. This is just how the edit panel looks for this particular template. All the same principles will still apply, but keep this in mind as we go through. Knowing that, let's take a quick look at this particular template and how to edit some key features. You can see that there's a few different titles available for us to use in this one template alone. Click these boxes to turn each option on or off. Choose one, or choose them all if you really want to. Let's go with this one. Right now, it doesn't say what we want it to because we haven't written in our own titles. The way you do this is under the title text A and B. Just type in what you want it to say, and it'll appear in real time on your template. The same goes for the subtitle. Awesome! Now if we wanted to switch up the style, we just have to choose a new title and do the same thing. Like I said, it's so simple. Beneath the titles we have our scale, position, and rotation parameters. Changing these parameters would work exactly like you'd expect. But what's awesome is that it doesn't mess up your animation. When you change these all around, it'll still look awesome once you're all said and done. Lastly at the bottom is our color section. Here we can customize all the different colors of our graphic separately. The text color, our background colors, everything that we need to customize our graphics. But here's the best part, and the thing that made me so happy when I found it out. Take this graphic clip and duplicate it. You can do this with either the Alt or Option key, and then click and drag. Now you have a second motion graphic, starting with the parameters you just made. But if you wanted to change this new one and make it different, it won't impact the original graphic you just created. But like I mentioned before, each template you use might look very different and have a variety of unique options. So let's look at another template to show you what might look different. Here you can see there's a lot of things changed with this template. It has a variety of similar features like changing color, but also a handful of new ones like manually changing text size, text shadow, and slant. It's important to know that each different template you work with will have a different looking edit section, but that they'll all give you a great deal of control over how your template acts and looks. All in all, I'm so excited for this new addition to Premiere Pro. It redefines the simplicity of an otherwise tricky graphics project. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.